Yo, I got bear stacks in my jeans. What up guys, it's Sheroy from Just Another Style Channel and today I'll be showing you guys how to taper your jeans at the tailor. This isn't a DIY tutorial, maybe I'll do one of those later on, but right now this is for those people that don't have a sewing machine and just want to take their pants to the tailor, pay a few dollars and get their pants tailored to the right fit. So this video is going to be broken down into three parts. Finding the right tailor, how to taper your jeans. And then finally, how my tapered jeans look on me. Alright, so on to part one, finding the right tailor. Basically, you can go to any local tailor or dry cleaners in your area. Just do some research, look on Google Maps, and do whatever you have to do. Just walk around, and I'm sure you'll find a tailor in the area. When you go in, there's a few specific things you gotta ask them. You gotta tell them, hi, I have a pair of jeans that I would like to taper or get the pant leg narrowed. Those are two terms you can use when describing to the tailor at the shop on what you want done to the specific leg of the pant. When it comes to tailoring and they do not know what you're saying, if they ask do you want your pants hemmed and you said you want them tapered, you need to go and find another one. And if the next one doesn't know what tapering means, you need to go and find another one. So once you've found the right tailor, that's basically going to be the first step of this tutorial. Now step two is basically going to be essentially what is tapering and how to get it done to your pants properly without messing it up. So first thing is you need to go and take one to two pairs of jeans at a time. These pants I got from Guess and they fit perfectly in the thigh area but the legs were too wide for me. These are 13.5 inch leg opening. I usually get a five to six inch leg opening depending on the specific pant and the style I'm going for. So tapering is essentially from the knee down so you have to make sure the waist and the thigh area of your pants fit perfectly to you already. So the tailor is probably going to ask you to try it on and you can basically have them pin it up or you can just tell them you want a 6 inch or 5 inch leg opening but I recommend you try it on first, get it pinned up properly because that's the correct way to do it in my opinion just because you have a feel for how it's going to look. Is it too tight? Is it too baggy? You can always have it baggy and then taper it a little more, but once it's slim and done, you can't go back. So that's why I only hand them one to two pairs to do as a trial run and see if they're the right tailor for you. And as far as pricing goes, don't pay over $15. $15 is still on the high end of things. Maximum, I'd say, is $20 for tapering your pants because after that, you can get a pair of pants that are perfectly done up by someone else and you can already get it that's bought in the store that fits you perfectly. All right, so the final step, I'm going to show you how my jeans look before and after after getting them tapered, so let's get into it. So that's how my jeans look before and after getting them tapered. As you guys can see, I'm a little more tan than when I left you guys off before that part of the video. That's because I recorded that and I meant to upload this video while I was in Cuba, but I didn't feel like the footage was long enough or had enough content to actually upload for you guys. So now that I'm back from Cuba, a little more tan with a little more facial hair, let's get into it on how to get the perfect stack. So I got two tips for you guys. So let's get into it. So the first tip is going to be making sure your jeans are a little bit longer than you'd usually get them. So I usually get my jeans in a 30 length. To get the perfect stacks or get stacks in my jeans, I get it a little longer in a 32 length. So that gives me a little more room to work with and make sure that I can actually stack my jeans up a little bit when it comes to getting the folds perfectly down. The second tip I have for you guys is to make sure to use a little bit of starch. That basically ensures that when you start your jeans over and over again, you're gonna make sure your stacks are perfectly instilled into your jeans or basically stuck in there. So don't wash your jeans as often as you want them to. Just starch it, starch it, starch it, and eventually those stacks will stay in place and be gravity-defying for as long as you need them to be. But remember, gravity is always gonna bring it all down. 
and eventually the stacks are gonna go away so always fix it up before a photo or two for your Instagram shots alright so that was a video on how to tape your jeans hope you guys found it helpful and the song in the vid is gonna be P's and Q's by Lil Uzi Vert check it out thank you guys for watching my video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Thank you.